Chris, that was a 22-14 loss to Olney in the Intermediate Cup. Just give me your thoughts on that game and talk us through our performance this afternoon. Um, I guess just uh, first and foremost, thoughts are very frustrated. Um, not not with the opposition or the way that it was refereed, just in our own performance more than anything. Um, I know that we're an awful lot better than that, and we just we just didn't start well. You know, we try and feel our way into games, and there are no uh, there are no opposition in this league where you can get away with that in any cup or any league fixture. So you really have to um, yeah really have to be attacking every game that you get an opportunity to play in. We made some changes. We wanted to see some uh, some new n newer players into the team this week. And um, you know, for me, that's a real opportunity to lay a marker down as an individual. And in areas, we didn't really do that. You mentioned there that we didn't get off to the the best of starts. How crucial do you think that was in terms of how the game panned out? Very much so. Yeah, absolutely. It was in the end. It became the winning or losing of the game. Um, you know, it's a real key focus for us that we start fast, and we haven't really done that today at all. We just really felt our way into the game, as I've already said. Um, you know, and it's just a real frustration that if you get an opportunity to have a go, you know, if we set our stall out that we're going to win the cup, we're going to get, we're going to finish in the league, we're going to, you know, we're going to win the league, and we've got genuine aspirations to do that. And for me, the first twenty minutes of an opportunity then you've got to go and get after it and we just didn't um, having said that second half was a different game altogether you know the last 20 minutes was where I like to see Kenilworth beat and uh, that's both intensity and that's both with our game plan and our phase plays that we were going through um, so we're getting there you know it's not all doom and gloom um, we've got to build again and we've got to go again next week for a massive game against Malvern away you mentioned there the next game is obviously against Malvern in the league away from home so that makes it naturally a tough fixture how do you as senior coach here at Kenilworth motivate your players keep their heads up and make sure that they don't dwell too much on this performance this afternoon look it's very obvious you know it, we've just been in the change room then and um, we could try and dissect the game for every 80 minute that we've played in throughout the season um, the players are hurting which is great that's a big positive for me um, that might sound a bit strange but it's a big positive you know there's no need us going in as coaching and management and trying to stick a rocket up their uh, behinds you know it's a case of go again why did we? Uh, why were we slow to start? Is that something that we as coaches could do, and we could be benefit, you know, more benefit to the uh, players? Um, but in the same sense, you know, they've got a massive game away from home, uh, which is never easy. Um, and we're hoping to get a good bus up there this week, uh, next week, sorry. And um, I just want to see a reaction from the players more than anything, and I'm sure we will.